in the summer of 93, in the month of May, in the state of Bihar alone, 2,000 people died from cholera. The epidemic, in, in some sense, made me decide that we have to do it. This is it. You know, we just can't sit around saying somebody ought to do it, that somebody is, is here or nobody does it. We knew what the goal was, which was to make a device that's going to be useful to people in the developing world, which meant that it must be able to treat water that people carry by hand, that it must be very economical, affordable, that its power demand cannot be too high, uh, and it must have very low maintenance. The first device we built and tested in the lab was humongous. The one person couldn't even lift the device. And of course, it worked well in the lab. It disinfected the water. The, the feedback from the field, however, was that this is totally unrealistic. You have way over-designed the device. So that's when we went back to the drawing boards and, and designed the device that indeed met all these goals. And that's the unit you see today. We figured that uh, UV Waterworks uses 6,000 times less energy to disinfect water than uh, would be needed to boil that same amount of water. The idea is very simple. You have water in a tray that is exposed to UV light. And when that happens, the viruses become dysfunctional. The organism is unable to reproduce. It is no longer able to infect an individual. In a normal environment, the organism will die on its own.